And as we approach World Elder Abuse Awareness Month, Western New Yorkers are invited to take a few moments to help seniors who may not be able to get out of their homes. It's as simple as writing a nice note. And Cayuga Heights Elementary Schoolers are leading by example. News 4's Katie Alexander shows us how they're taking part in the Caring Cards Challenge. This campaign is all about giving a little extra support to the older members of our community who need it. And here, it's a chance to get some of the youngest community members involved. You are love from head to toe. We love you, so do not be sad or frown. That's the message from third grader Kayla Zuba in one of a hundred cards created by the members of the Cayuga Heights Elementary Kindness Club. Every month, dozens of these students get together to do good in their school. The Kindness Club is a group of second and third graders who at the beginning of the year felt there was a need to spread kindness throughout Cayuga. Um, we started by just making cards for our teachers and then it kind of grew into spreading kindness throughout the, um, throughout the school. We learn about kindness and how to treat people nice. Taking up the Caring Cards Challenge has been a perfect fit for the Kindness Club mission. Have a nice day. I am thinking of you. Next month, these notes will be given to seniors in Western New York who receive meals on wheels, who are survivors of elder abuse, or who could just use a note from a friendly person. I was feeling happy because then people don't have to be lonely. One of our friends made this card that says, every day your smiling flower gets bigger and it grows. The local Center for Elder Law and Justice is working to collect 3,000 of these cards to be delivered on World Elder Abuse Prevention Day, June 15th. And they need your help to reach that goal. It's about the community coming together as a whole and recognizing some of, you know, this issue, that this issue exists and kind of what leads to this. Isolation is a big risk factor in elder abuse cases that can be fought through a little act of kindness like this. So what do you think it means to them to get the card from you? That they know that they're not forgotten by people. What makes a good card? Love. To learn more about the Caring Cards Challenge and how you can help, go to the Founded on 4 section of our website, WIVB.com. Reporting into Pew, Katie Alexander, News 4. It's so cute, so wonderful of them. 